On Friday, the European Union announced the release of 1.5 billion euros to support Ukraine, marking the first tranche of funds derived from profits on frozen Russian assets. We would like to resume the this move follows a May agreement among the EU's 27 member states to utilize interest earned on approximately 210 billion euros of Russian central bank assets for military support and reconstruction efforts in war-torn Ukraine. The frozen assets, primarily held in Belgium, were part of the sanctions imposed in response to Moscow's attack on Ukraine. Brussels estimates that the interest on these assets could generate around 3 billion euros annually. European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen said in a statement that The EU stands with Ukraine. To date, we transfer 1.5 billion euros in proceeds from immobilized Russian assets to the defense and reconstruction of Ukraine. There is no better symbol or use for the Kremlin's money than to make Ukraine and all of Europe a safer place to live. This financial move comes in the wake of Moscow's recent claim of recapturing two villages in eastern Ukraine. The Kremlin's forces have been making incremental gains in eastern and northeastern Ukraine, raising concerns in Kyiv about further advances without substantial financial support. The EU High Representative Joseph Borrell said in the statement that The first tranche of the windfall profits will provide concrete support on the ground. Notably, with 1.4 billion euros allocated to the European Peace Facility, we are set to finance the acquisition of priority military equipment, namely air defense, ammunition for artillery, and also through procurement for the Ukrainian defense industry. We are not only providing military support to Ukraine, but also made in Ukraine, contributing to Ukraine's resilience in combating Russia's war of aggression. In response, Russia swiftly condemned the EU's decision as illegal. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov warned that this action would not go unanswered, stating, This is certainly a reason for thoughtful actions in response to such illegal decisions that are being implemented by the European Union. Peskov also emphasized that the EU's actions violated international law and mentioned that Russia would consider bringing legal action against the decision-makers involved. 